Welcome back, everybody, to New Super Mario Bros. U. Today, we will be finishing Soda Jungle, starting with the fifth proper level, Deep Sea Ruins. I guess fifth numbered level would be more accurate, because they've all been proper levels. All right, the first star coin, I do believe, is right down here. Look at them stone eyes following me. I can follow you, that is kind of creepy. Look at these fish. Bone fish. And much like the last level we did in the previous video, this also has a secret exit. <laughs> they ran into each other. That was just perfect. Okay, what can you do, Mr. Jellyfish? So I can get this ice flower here. Aha! The ice flower can be handy. At least ice underwater makes more sense than fire. Jesus. No. Okay, you're gonna move down and just be in my way. You're gonna go that way. I'm gonna hit you with my ice flower. And now... Part do. Part two of trying not to get hit by, uh, these damn circling boo buddies. Are they really buddies if they're trying to kill you? I wouldn't think so. Anyway. I'm trying to hit this damn block because there's a star in it. I can actually see what the bloody fuck I'm doing. Oh god. No. There's your second star coin. Alright, you come down here. Okay. Now there's two exits here. One's up here. So if we go over here, there's the third star coin. And we could take the secret exit, or the true exit, I guess. Oh god, I'm going too far on these damn jumps. Oh well. It's not like getting the one up on the flagpole is important when you have 99 lives. This way. Or in fact, at all in this game. Because it's so easy to rack up lives. So there's your true exit. I'm gonna go through that level again and just unlock the normal exit. So be right back. Alright, top shelf. We go up this way. Very similar to the last exit and all those coming up. Oh yeah, Mario time. All right, so we've got that's actually all the secret exits in this world, all four of them. All right, now we're gonna go through this little interesting thing. Alright, the boos have positioned themselves in such a way in that there is actually one path where you won't run into any of them. There you go. The path is different every time. Alternatively, if you didn't want to deal with that, you could just take the secret exit from, uh... From, uh... Soda Jungle 2. 
Now we're going to go over here to Seesaw Bridge. Uh, this is a level that I'm not a big fan of, to be quite honest with you. I actually want to get a star. To die. That was the whole reason for getting the star. I swear to God. It's, it's gonna set up a skip later. It, that, that, that totally wasn't a mistake. I promise. Maybe. Alright, seriously though. Let's try that again, except not be stupid about it. There we go. Alternatively, you could just bring in, like, a flying squirrel suit, which is not available in this level, but you could bring it in from a different level and nobody will think twice. Whoa! Okay. Shit. See, this is why I'm not a big fan of this level. The star coin placement. Okay, there we go. That is how you do that stupid thing. You just speed run. Speed running tactics. If you missed the opportunity there, there's one here. Wow, wow, wow. There we go. I will take that. Okay, so I guess there is a flying squirrel suit available if you get the, their red ring minigame. There we go. I now have a completely useless star. Why am I not just skipping the challenge? Just outright forgetting about it. Oh yeah, it's because there's a, there's a goddamn star coin that I'm missing. Which I am now going to backtrack for. It's in here. Oh uh, shit! There we go. That is really easy to get with the uh, flying squirrel suit. So. Use that... use that knowledge to your advantage. I'm gonna wait for these to come back down. There we are, I didn't have to waste my time going through the entire level again just to get the stupid, uh... third star coin. Okay, we're gonna skip all the stupid challenge. And just get to the end of the level that we saw a glimpse of before I'm like, ah shit, I'm forgetting the third star coin. Oh yeah, Mario time. Yeah. So this will predictably lead to the castle, but we got one more level to do before we actually tackle the castle. Wiggler Stampede! I for some reason like this level more than the other one. Maybe it's for the opportunity to stomp on giant wigglers and not get to have them be pissed off. Anyway, there's your first star coin. Bouncy. So 
So we go up here, and it looks like there's nothing, but there are actually more of these things here. I think the middle block of all four of these things has a thing in it that goes up to here, which is where your second star coin will reside. And there's your checkpoint. We got peace switch goings on here. Get to, <laughs> like, dude, get the peace switch. Well, not a requirement. The peace switch does make things easier. Let me fly all the way across the damn level. Holy shit! Okay, I did not realize that I was gonna land on that. Oh god. No, I will just bounce off of you. There we go. Ha <laughs> I get the two one-ups at all at the same time and have it all credity like that. Now, we can finally finish this marathon of a world with Iggy's Volcanic Castle. You know it's going to be good, because it has lava waves. Fantastic. I actually want to keep my flying squirrel suit for as long as possible. Simply because of stuff. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. Okay, you have to be really quick to get this star coin. Fortunately, I'm quick like lightning. I have to be if I want to avoid certain death. I'm not even going to bother with that. It's this pipe that I want to enter. Now, normally I would have to hop off of a, uh, off of Mr. Hello, I am the Dry Bones. Or freeze him over and hope that, uh, lava doesn't melt it before I can do the thing properly. Now we have Poe to Bows. We have a thing in here. This is another reason why I wanted to keep the damn flying swirl suit. Otherwise, I would have to uh, rely on bouncing on those big dry bones. But now we're going to get rid of the flying swirl suit. You have served me well, but it is now time for me to take on Iggy. Iggy Koopa. And his green hair. Away we go! Bonk. Okay, this this is actually kind of weird. This is a very odd boss fight. Because he, cause he runs away from you. He casts his magic. He has blargs. Summon blargs. To terrorize you. And then he just keeps running away from you. Like, screw you, man. If you don't want to be a good boss, I guess I can understand. And his pattern for when he does this is all wacky.
And it's kind of difficult to get into the jump on him when he comes out of his shell rhythm. Fortunately, I did that perfectly as I said it. Maybe I should just say that everything is the hardest thing ever. Use the old reverse psychology tactics. And away the airship goes! Boom. Yay! And this will lead us into World 6. We got all the star coins and soda jungle. It is fantastic. I will go ahead and save. And we'll get ourselves a little preview of World 6 here. Rock Candy Mines. We have a tower here with a boom boom. We have another tower there that has no specified boss. And at the end, the castle houses Roy Koopa. Anyway, next time, we will start up Rock Candy Mines. See you then.